Hey everybody, welcome. So we are talking about exercise one, observing the self by the self. And we came up to step three yesterday. In step one, we are observing the imagination. And we are trying to particularly observe the feeling in the imagination. In step two, we were trying to see if that feeling that we are having at any moment, whether it is naturally acceptable to us or not, whether we want to continue with that feeling or we want to come out of it. And now in step three, we were checking to see the state of, or we were evaluating my own state as a result of the feeling. So the impact of the feeling. With that particular feeling, am I comfortable within or uncomfortable within? Am I in harmony within or am I in contradiction within? Am I in a state of happiness within or unhappiness within? And you'll find that these three steps, once you become aware of the feeling, it's almost in rapid succession that you are able to do these three steps almost instantaneously. That soon as you are able to observe the feeling, you may be immediately also able, be able to observe that it is feeling, you know, you are feeling comfortable or uncomfortable, whether it is in line with your natural acceptance or not in line, whether you want to continue with it or you want to come out of it. So this is what we meant when we were saying in the beginning that although the exercise is in seven steps, these are one set of steps and once you are familiar with it and you are used to it, you might be able to do them in just a few steps, much less than the seven steps. Or sometimes when the feeling is difficult to see in the very beginning, you may want to increase the number of steps, like maybe trying to deduce the feeling from the thought and so on. But the important thing is seeing within what is being spoken of to be able to see that within yourself. Because that's the only way you will know. Otherwise, it is just theory. Otherwise, it is just a philosophy, which may sound nice, but may make no difference to your life. So we were trying to see this, to observe and evaluate this. How it is when you have a feeling, say, of affection. So you'll notice that when you have a feeling of affection, the feeling is naturally acceptable to you and you feel comfortable. You're in harmony. You're in a state of happiness within. But the moment that you have a feeling of opposition, a feeling that is not naturally acceptable to you, you feel uncomfortable within. You are in contradiction within. You are unhappy at that moment. And so yesterday we were talking about how sometimes even with our close relatives, what we call our loved ones, we avoid interactions with them because we want to avoid this unhappiness that we feel whenever the interaction happens. What we don't realize is that when we don't have that interaction and we avoid the interaction, we are still unhappy because that feeling within us is within us it doesn't have much to do with the other. So we still feel unhappy, 
even though you, we may avoid the other person. And it stays within us and it surfaces from time to time. And it will keep happening this way until we resolve it within ourselves. So yesterday being Sunday, we had, you know, most people may have been spending more time with the family members, with the loved ones, with the close relatives. And we are asked to see if in all your interactions, you are able to witness your feeling at the base while interacting with the others. And if you are able to see these three steps in yourself. So if you'd like to share your observations about that, we would, it would be nice. <coughs> Yesterday, uh, uh, some distant relatives came into our house. Mm -hmm. And I was uh, uh, not very happy to see them because I, uh, I am not in good relationship with them. Mm -hmm. I managed and I thought that, yes, uh, I should behave in the right manner. Mm -hmm. So in the first phase, I had the a feeling of contradiction, but I managed outside. Mm -hmm. But there is a feeling of... Uh, Opposition, mm -hmm. but still, after some time, I uh, with uh, while react uh, interacting with them, I felt a little good, mm -hmm. and uh, then I I could manage that. Yes, this happens many of the times. It is not every time that as we desire that happens. I managed, and uh, I was not fully comfortable, but. Partly, I was comfortable mm -hmm. with them. So, this was my feeling while uh, interacting with the relatives yesterday. Nice. So, you yes. will also, as we go along, we'll get into, you know, why we feel uncomfortable. What is behind that? Why we have feeling of opposition for them? It may be some past experience. It may be something we have assumed about them. So you will notice that whenever our expectation is not met, right? we expect something. We are constantly expecting something from the outside. Yes. So we may have had this expectation like you mentioned that today being Sunday, I should be able to rest. I should not have to do anything much. But a lot of times you will find that one is that when our expectation is not met, we tend to become unhappy. When we don't have the right feeling within us, so it keeps shifting. It looks like it is coming from the outside. But because of the assumption that this is how, should, how it should be, we don't have an acceptance for anything else, any other result from outside. So our expectation may be unreal. So then we are bound to be disappointed if we assume that things must be a certain way outside. That is one part of it. The other part of it is when somebody comes to the house that we are not familiar with, if we are not ourselves, meaning if we have to put on a certain face or if we have to try to be a certain way that we are not, it is very difficult or it is um, it, it seems like a lot of effort, and it is. Rather, if we are relaxed and if we are comfortable, then it may be slightly different. It may be that when the person comes, we are still relaxed and we can talk to them in a very relaxed manner. 
but a lot of times that is not the case because we may have assumed something about how the behavior needs to be when people who are not immediate close relatives are coming how we must behave in a certain way when certain types of people come so with all of that put together we may have many assumptions that are driving our feeling our thought our expectation and so on we want to do something and this just seems like a hindrance in what we wanted to do our expectation was not met i wanted to rest and now look at this these people have come now i can't rest so i have a non acceptance of the situation isn't it mm-hmm. so then i feel burdened with this because i don't want to be there i want to go and rest or i feel i shouldn't be able to rest at this time my expectation was something when my expectation was not met i became unhappy that how to convert the unhappiness to happiness there yes the question yes the the thing is as we come to the further steps we will see this but briefly ultimately who is deciding the feeling is it that person outside or am i deciding it and if i am deciding it then just as i had a feeling of opposition i can have a feeling of relationship if i check with my natural acceptance i will see i want to have feeling of relationship so what is stopping me from having that feeling of relationship i may have assumptions but if i keep referring to my natural acceptance i will see that i need to have a feeling of relationship in order to be in harmony and when you start doing it you find it's not that difficult see we put so many barriers for ourselves i cannot do this i cannot do that like you see people say it's not my nature i cannot forgive people well now we have put that limitation for ourselves now we assume that we cannot go beyond this so we don't even try isn't it mm-hmm. but in that process of forgiving it's really not about that other person it's about myself because i say you know i will not forgive the other person as if the other person i am punishing them but really i am punishing myself because every time i have this feeling that is not naturally acceptable i am unhappy yes sir isn't it so yes. when i see that and i see that i can go beyond this limitation i have put for myself i can go beyond this assumption i just have to refer to my natural acceptance the moment i refer to my natural acceptance i can see that this is unnecessary so i refer to my natural acceptance i have a feeling that is naturally acceptable to me and i immediately feel calm comfortable relaxed and i realize that it was not about the other person it was me so despite nothing having changed outside i can have the right feeling and be happy that's what i wanted in the first place but we'll come to it as we go through the steps we'll come to that in more detail the difference uh, if i find uh, by going somewhere else and uh, spending our time and going some spiritual organization and and also one more thing i observed if uh, people are highly uh, devotional or uh, spending some activity like devotion or spiritual they are uh, i uh, i observed uh, they are very happy uh, what i uh, mm-hmm. could see uh, mm-hmm. what is the reason i don't know <laughs> yeah. but uh, there may be strong feeling. yeah so see when when the environment outside is one that we are comfortable with or the environment outside is something um where there is peace it looks like there yes. is no disturbance there is no conflict there yes 
things seem to be in order yes then we naturally feel comfortable within isn't it correct correct now that is an impact or an effect of the outside on me which means yeah. that now i am dependent on that condition that i yeah. have to be there then only i can be relaxed yeah. but if i am in traffic in tension in that traffic jam again i become restless i become uncomfortable i become unhappy isn't yes. it yes 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 so this is that i am being influenced or my state is being influenced by the situation outside yes but ultimately i want to be in that state of happiness all the time yes yes because i can't control the outside situation all the time isn't it yes. there yes. will be days when i am not able to go for the meetings yes something may happen isn't it yes or i am ready to go and somebody lands up at home and yeah. now i can't yeah. go yes isn't it <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. So I was going there to be comfortable, but now because I can't go, I'm yeah. uncomfortable. I'm unhappy. Yes, correct, correct. So ultimately, we want to be able to be happy all the time without some outside influence impacting us. Yes, isn't it? yes, yes. So that is the endeavor. That is the what we are trying to do, so that we can be comfortable, we can be happy all the time, regardless of what the situation is outside, because the situation outside. may not always be in my control in fact many yes. times it won't be in my control isn't it yes 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 yeah 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 uh, uh, what a uh, ritual place now supposing somebody comes who is um finding fault with the organization yeah yeah yeah, yeah. now we'll have disturbance with him isn't it yes yes yes, yes. so yes. it you will see that this is an impact of the situation that we are in yes yes so ultimately we want to be able to have the right feeling independent of regardless of what is happening outside yes isn't yes. it yes so yes. that's why we are working for that it is always not like that if some people uh, contradict words giving uh, regarding may not be we may not uh, uh, feel some Uh, uncomfortability or unhappiness uh, always not like that sometimes mm -hmm. yeah true yeah true but because we want that continuity of happiness we have to find another solution no yes, yes otherwise yes. every time the outside situation changes my mood can change yes yes sir we were yeah. able to you know there was one we used to go many times you know for the workshops and all Yes, yes. So there was this one person who was, um, you know, we could see. <laughs> yeah, we we attended the workshop. The attend the workshop was there, and uh, the person was very calm, very comfortable, and discussing very nicely. And then yeah. soon after that, he was going to drop us in his car, and we went in this traffic jam, and he was hurling abuses at the people in front. Now the whole. <laughs> whole mood changed yes yes so, yeah. so then we become unhappy in different different situations our mood keeps fluctuating our feeling keeps changing correct so this is what we need to be able to have the right feeling regardless of what the situation is only then can we be happy all the time isn't yeah. it yeah how, how do we maintain that that's so what we are trying to do here and yeah. as we go through the steps we'll be able to see this that yeah. if i keep referring to the natural acceptance the whole point is i lose awareness no i am not aware at that moment yes of the feeling many a time and yeah. after it happens then i recall and i think oh no i had a different kind of feeling i had a feeling that was not naturally acceptable but we will notice that whenever we have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable to us we are uncomfortable and it is having some sort of it's creating some disharmony in the body also yes. so sometimes we may not notice our feeling but we may notice 
the very rapid uncomfortable beating of the heart or we may notice some tremors in the hand or something something yeah. indicating disharmony in the body that's because you know my feeling is um not right so the thoughts also are being driven by the feeling in fact the yes. feeling is being driven by the assumptions yes so those assumptions are you know just assumptions that we have not verified as we yes. keep verifying the assumptions we will find that those assumptions that are in line with understanding we can keep those and those that are not in line we can discard those yes ultimately in that process we are happy at more and more moments and ultimately yes. there can be continuity of that happiness yes 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 yeah. thank you thank you thank you thank you uh i can hear yeah. you yeah so we are talking about this natural acceptance Mm-hmm. This uh, is this natural acceptance uh, different for different people? No, it is the same for all. What happens is that we try to check our behavior, our thoughts. Is it naturally acceptable? Is it not naturally acceptable? And we may be confused about that, isn't it? No, no, no. If we are not clear about what exactly natural acceptance is, it seems like it is different for different people. When we are talking about, say, forgiving, also. okay you are talking of some action you took yes huh? now for that for your behavior or for the expectation or for the thought if you try to see where the what is the natural acceptance it is difficult to see that because you will not get a easy answer to that you will not be able to clearly see it what you okay. need to do for the natural acceptance is if you can see the feeling immediately you can ask is the feeling naturally acceptable not naturally acceptable that is exactly I mean, wait wait yeah. let me finish okay so if you are able to see the feeling it becomes very easy because you, you you can only have a feeling which is naturally acceptable or not naturally acceptable there are no more choices so yeah, to me to all the people for everybody just okay. one moment let me finish but many a time this feeling is subtle and we are not able to see it so right. we are trying to see it through the thoughts and we are trying to analyze and see the natural acceptance through the thoughts now right. one is that natural acceptance is more is uh, something that is deeper than or is beyond the thought so if we are trying to analyze and see it we can't see it the other thing is this natural acceptance has to do with the purpose right right so if we are not able to see the feeling also even if we are just trying to see through the thoughts try to see the purpose of it so for instance say we talk of forgiving hmm? right, right so why are we forgiving we think that we are forgiving so that the other person feels better or the other person we we are giving up something so that the other person can be happy something like that we may have assumed yes ultimately if we ask that question what is acceptable to me that feeling of affection is acceptable to me the feeling of relationship is naturally acceptable to me or a feeling of opposition don't think of that person just think of yourself right now what is naturally acceptable to you a feeling of relationship or a feeling of opposition what is the answer you get yeah that probably going is going to be the same for all human beings yes so this is what we are saying that is the natural acceptance but what happens is many times we are impacted by the situations from outside so we are not referring to our natural acceptance when we are impacted by the situation outside many a time we will have feeling of opposition now that impact of the situation can be different for different people right yes, depending yes. on their own assumptions depending on their own conditioning and so yeah. on yeah yeah right? so for instance if somebody has grown up in an environment where um say people in the family uh invite 
or have regular interaction with many people who are distant relatives, all of those, and a person has grown up in that environment, it may be acceptable for that person to have all those people around and yet be comfortable and happy. Yes. Isn't it? But a person who has grown up in a very limited environment where there are, you know, this was not the case while growing up, then they may, that person may have a different response. Yes, yes. That person may have a feeling of opposition when somebody lands up at home and so on. So the conditioning can vary. And based on that conditioning, what we call an acceptance for something or non-acceptance for something, that will vary. But if we refer to our natural acceptance, if we refer to this voice within regarding the feeling or regarding the purpose of something, then it becomes, you'll see that this is the same answer for all. So that is what we are referring to as the natural acceptance. Other things may be an acceptance or non-acceptance, but it is not the natural acceptance. Those are based, those are based on conditionings. But the natural acceptance is beyond the conditioning. It is okay. that inner voice that comes spontaneously. So that we are referring to. Okay. So I can see that the feeling that I have decides my state of happiness or unhappiness. If I have a feeling that is naturally acceptable to me, then I will be in a state of harmony and happiness. But if I have a feeling which is not naturally acceptable to me, it will lead to disharmony and unhappiness. So I remain happy when the feeling is natural to me. I remain unhappy when the feeling is not natural to me. This we have to try to do every moment. So this is one example. And you may have heard this example. This is an old example. That suppose you are sitting in an air-conditioned room 21 degrees, so physically it is very favorable. But you are sitting with somebody with whom you have a feeling of opposition. For example, a dominating boss. The poor bosses, they are always <laughs> brought into these examples. So if you have a dominating person sitting next to you, and you may have had differences of opinion with that person, even if you don't have a boss, but there is somebody that you have difference of opinion with and that person is sitting with you and that person is dominating. Are you going to be comfortable or uncomfortable inside? Is this feeling leading to harmony within or contradiction within? Is there happiness within or unhappiness within? So you'll notice that this is, you know, like what Devi Prasanji was sharing that when you are in a place where you know there is a maybe devotional music a devotional talk going on and things seem in order things seem calm comfortable i feel comfortable in that environment but there it is the impact of the environment there is no guarantee that when i come out of that environment i will be in that same state within because the situations outside will keep changing. So there also you will notice that what you need to be is comfortable within all the time. That is, it's not a luxury, it's a basic need for us because the moment we are uncomfortable, we want to come out of that state. We want to change that. But when we don't realize it, we keep trying to change the outside so that we can be comfortable. Of course, in this case, it is physical comfort, right? So we keep trying to change so many things outside, whether it be physical, whether it be related to our senses, in that process of wanting to be happy within. But you will find that there is not much it has to do with that. That happiness within has to do with my feeling within. So I have to keep observing the imagination every moment. 
initially we may not be able to see the imagination the moment the incident happens because we are not used to paying attention inside so in that case we can reflect on the incident later analyze it and see what was our feeling at that time but once we start observing the imagination more and more we'll be able to directly see this feeling at the base of the imagination even while the incident is occurring so even when we are having that conversation or we are getting uncomfortable we will be able to notice that okay i am becoming uncomfortable this is not okay i am not feeling good but till that happens after the impact also or after we may have lashed out we may have shouted or gotten angry when we reflect on it we will be able to notice this and that is also good because the very fact that we have become aware of that even as an afterthought is very significant because earlier we were not even seeing that so now even as an afterthought if i see and if i see what is naturally acceptable to me how i could have been in that state in that situation now next time i will be able to be in that state or i will be able to catch it earlier and very soon that will weaken and it will drop and i will be able to respond so this is the natural progression and we all have that potential to be able to do this so we all have that capacity so what we'll do now is we'll try to do our observation we'll try to observe the imagination okay we have been observing for about 7 8 minutes now and uh, if there's any quick um question we can take it uh, is asking that when you are unwell then how to be happy or how to avoid this unhappiness so if you can see that when you're not well or there is a problem in the body then what do i need to do to fix it that will be my focus that can be one state another state could be oh my god again i am sick now what to do now i am suffering this problem in the body so i don't need to suffer that problem in the body what i can do is take responsibility after all it is my tool i need to do something to fix it but i need not become unhappy about it that would be a quick response for that but we can discuss it further tomorrow if there are doubts regarding that also there is another uh, question in the chat if they are not ready to listen or not ready to discuss then what are we supposed to do when we are trying to discuss with the other concerning them so see when i have concern for the other then even if the other is not ready to discuss i can still have that concern for the other isn't it so that will be my focus rather than they are not listening my focus will become how can i help them so but we'll go through this um maybe again later tomorrow morning so we will continue to be trying to observe this imagination and we're going to try to continue to see whether with the feeling in the imagination we are comfortable or uncomfortable inside is it naturally acceptable or not and are we comfortable or uncomfortable inside and we'll take your observations tomorrow